Okay, so I'm driving. Um, but I want to get this message out before I lose my nerve or get busy and decide that I don't have time to make this video. So I'm just coming from church and I want to share this. I don't know who all out there deals with this, but here's what I deal with. Uh, I'm in church and I'm I'm at the altar and I'm worshiping the Lord and I'm dealing with images, very violent images of somebody running up behind me and like stabbing me to death. Like this is the type of warfare that I deal with when I try to worship. I wasn't dealing with that before. Um, like stuff like that, like images like that will come up when I try to worship God. And they come up at other times. Um, but a lot of the time, like stuff like that will come up and like those type of tormenting thoughts will come up and just try to throw me all the way off and I feel like I can't be the only one that deals with that but here's what I did I just I kept worshiping some of the time I will I will worship and pray and thank the Lord and speak in tongues and all that and sometimes it goes away other times it doesn't but I didn't let it throw me off and I didn't let it stop my worship because here's one thing that I know. If I was, if I was no threat whatsoever, if I wasn't doing anything that meant anything in the spirit to the kingdom of darkness, they would leave me alone. The fact that I'm standing there in church worshiping the Lord and putting my all into it, singing at the top of my lungs and and just loving on the Lord and adorning him. The fact that I could stand there and have to deal with thoughts of being brutally murdered right there in the church in front of everybody. I know for a fact that that is a demonic attack and it wouldn't be happening if I wasn't a threat, if it didn't, if I didn't mean anything, if I was sitting there, if I was standing there just wasting my time. I didn't deal with stuff like that when I was in the world. I mean, for the most part, because towards the end, back when um, I feel like the, the enemy tried to like etch away at my sanity. Excuse me? Okay, so that once again is...
because our warfare or no our worship is warfare we're moving something in the spirit when we worship we're shifting the atmosphere stuff is breaking off of people when we create an, an atmosphere where the presence of God is there That's why I feel like, that's why I think the enemy tries to throw us off. Because God could be doing something in the midst of the worship because of the atmosphere that was created. God could be doing something, breaking something off of somebody. And the enemy tries to throw that off and prevent it. And create all kinds of thoughts. Give us all kinds of crazy thoughts in our mind that's going to throw us off. We can't let it throw us off. We got to just keep at it. I was dealing with that the whole time. The whole time I'm sitting there trying to worship. I'm dealing. I'm like, those thoughts keep trying to keep creeping. So I just fought through it. There are going to be times where you can pray and you can worship and it's going to go away. And there are times where you just got to fight through it. And that's what I had to do. So for everybody out there that has to, that's dealing with that. For one, stop watching scary movies. Stop watching um, all those action movies with all that violence in it. You got to stop because you're just feeding whatever spirit that is that somehow gains a stronghold on our imaginations to where they can input like those thoughts into our mind we have to stop feeding it so we have to stop watching that stuff that's one completely and then just just pray we may have to fast too etch out a few days to fast and throughout that entire fast uh, throughout that entire, entire fasting window actually utilize that time to pray non-stop and ask the Lord to reveal what exactly is the spirit behind those violent imaginations and it could be violent it could be lustful it could be anything we actually had to pray Pray through it and ask God for a deliverance from it. And then once God reveals what it is that brought um, that spirit to us and attached that spirit to us, we have to make a covenant with God that we will not do it anymore. So that spirit can't latch itself to us again. And then we got to go through that whole process over again. So, for anybody out there that's dealing with that, with, you know, the enemy gaining a stronghold in our imagination and constantly putting, you know, extreme thoughts in our mind when we're trying to concentrate, when we're trying to worship and praise God, just know that you're not alone and you just got to fight through it. You got to pray through it. You got to worship through it. And take out some time, etch out some time to fast and ask the Lord to fight that battle for you and make a covenant with God. Once he reveals what brought that spirit on, that you will never come in agreement with that spirit again. So I just wanted to share that and I hope this helps someone and I'll see you in the next video.